time actually flies by really fast like during it because you don't have your phone team player that's just whole, the whole point of it just take away that individuality and just learn how to become a team player and work in a team and work as a team what is up everybody it is your girl wealthy kiara and in today's video i am going to be telling you guys about my experience with BMT with the US Air Force and not only that just how I'm doing in tech school and how the transition is so just stay tuned for all the juicy tips and details okay so first and foremost before I get into the video I just want to let y'all know like I don't have any of my camera materials so like i'm just holding my phone so if it shakes a little bit or you know it just looks weird that's why um so yeah let's just get straight into the tips and questions that i feel would benefit you all the most when getting through bmt any bmt branch whether that's air force navy army but i'm going to specifically be act answering questions about the air force so let's get into it okay so first and foremost the air force bmt bmt meaning basic military training course it is how long it is it is seven and a half weeks long so and with that it sounds like when you first get there like i felt like i was going to be there forever but time actually flies by really fast like during it because you don't have your phone you know you're not really connected with the world all you're focused on is like the training and just getting through and then just learning to be a team player that's just whole, the whole point of it just take away that individual individuality and just learn how to become a team player and work in a team and work as a team and just, you know, encourage and try to work with others, even if you don't like them or, you know, it's a personality conflict, you have to push through and just work through it because, you know, in war, at the end of the day, you're going to have to protect that person or help that person beat the enemy. So another thing that I would say that I wanted to bring up was what to pack when you get to BMT depending on the time that you come because I went to BMT at Lackland Air Force I'm not sure if everybody goes there but I did and majority of people do so with that um well I'm gonna just tell you guys what I pack so they tell you like to pack less or whatever but I pack like a plain black t-shirt two black t-shirts and one white tee and one pair of jeans one thing the shorts and one like working out pants like all black jeans so i would bring at least enough clothes and underwears for like a few days so like three days so just imagine you going on like a 72 hour trip out of the country or just anywhere in america just plan just pack as much as you would for that trip, if that makes sense. So you really don't need that many clothes, like the the Air Force provide the clothes for you. And also, I would say to pack comfortable running shoes because the running shoes that they do provide for you, some people like say that they're ugly or they don't like them depending on which shoe you pick. I personally, got issued smaller shoes so I was able to switch them out um and I was able to switch them out and get like these other comfortable shoes that were new balances but however in the meantime it took like three weeks for me to get those shoes just because I didn't have enough time so I just continued to wear my Yeezys which probably wasn't a bright idea because I definitely ruined them but you know just wear what's comfortable for you because that's what you're going to be walking and and marching in like for the first few weeks or so until they issue your clothes okay so depending on if you are active duty or reserve or 
National Guard. For me, I'm reserved. So I already came in with my orders and where I'm gonna be based and all of that good stuff. So I came in with a lot of paperwork and paperwork that I need for when I graduate from tech school and BMT. So what I would suggest doing is buy like a plastic folder, like the little um, organizer folders being type of vibe that's what i got i wish i had it out here um i'm gonna probably put like a picture or a clip in it just to show you guys you can get this at walmart the dollar store anywhere um it really helps a lot because you're gonna have to stow this and all your paperwork away in like a little small drawer and it's just better to have it in like a plastic folder just any folder to keep it from getting damaged because you're gonna use it but you're not gonna need it until like months later and you just want to make sure it's all the paperwork is neat and clean and just worry free about losing it or messing it up or anything like that so that's what i would okay. suggest so another thing with the basic military training i would just say to stay out of drama like really just i know i said to be a team player but you can also it's best to like stay to yourself as well like try not to get too close to people just try to avoid drama like keep everything super professional and you know just make sure you're relating to the air force core bio values which is integrity first excellence in all we do in service before self so just make sure you're just really on top of like your relationships there because any little drama any little thing if anybody snitch on you you can get washed back meaning you have to stay in the training for two more weeks like they keep you in the training so that means that you are there longer meaning you won't have you'll lose out on time like you won't get back to your tech school on time like you won't graduate on time meaning you won't have time if you're reserved like me and going back home you won't have time to go back to see your family like you're losing out on that time and like holidays and stuff like that so yeah I would just suggest to keep to yourself just try to stay out of drama um, because you can get recycled and that's what that is just staying in longer for any little thing um so yeah like it could be the littlest thing so it's best to just be professional at all times so this is super important the PT test you need to prepare before you get to BMT. Don't be like me. Before I came to be before I came to BMT, I was not prepared at all. Like I was drinking every weekend. Like I wasn't I was partying, having fun. Like I didn't really I hit the gym. I went to the gym, but I didn't prepare enough. So that first PT test that you take in BMT, PT test meaning physical training test that you have to take and pass. And if you don't pass, you have to retake it over. And if you don't um, pass again, you'll get recycled, meaning you'll have to stay longer in the training. So with that, I would just suggest to make sure you're practicing running a one and a half mile because that's what's gonna be on the PT test and make sure you're practicing the proper form of push-ups and make sure you're practicing the proper form of sit-ups as well, the way that the Air Force requires it to, or just any military branch. So, because those are gonna be the three components that are gonna be on the test. Um, so yeah, just try to practice as much now and just before you come to the training because that's just something that i didn't do that was my mistake and you know you learn from your mistakes but don't be like me because my first pt test i got like a 19 19 minutes or something like that which is really bad um and you don't really get a lot of points they score the pt test based off of like a composite score and like different points so the faster you run a one and a half mile the more points you'll get and in order to pass, you need at least a 75, and that's the least. So, but over time, obviously, like I passed, I didn't get recycled. So the last final PT test, physical training test, I did come out with like an 84%. They do prepare and help you for the other PT tests, but it's just better to get ahead before you come so you won't have to go through that struggle of feeling like 
you're behind or you just don't really fit in like you didn't really prepare like everybody else it's just better to prepare so I would just say just prepare now and going back to like drama and everything um obviously like not everybody is going to be nice and want to be your friend like a lot of the people there like the girls are mean are going to be mean because everybody is under stress you're in a stressful environment like an intense environment so obviously it's going to be like little you know personality conflicts so just be prepared for that like like i said like it's just best to stay away from that and just react to things in a professional manner to not you know get in trouble by an mti or lead it to you having to talk to the commander which is not good at all especially not in bmt um so yeah i would just say like just try to keep your composure and be professional back to like the clothing that they issue be prepared if you're coming to lackland air force base in san antonio around like the summertime for me i went through bmt during the hottest month in texas which is august like i graduated august 31st and when i tell you like i've never experienced so much like heat exhaustion and just heat stress like i got sunburnt and everything like i'm a completely different shade like i you know i just never experienced that in michigan just be prepared to deal with that plus having on hot ocps or jackets on throughout the entire day walking like miles so i would just prepare for that as well like just expect that it's going to be really hard but it's going to be really hard at first but you know over time you just get used to it and you just learn to adapt you just learn to adapt and just get through it like that's the best way to look at it just you just have to get through it to be done with it and then tech school is a completely different topic like it's completely different and you know it's just more it's less i don't want to say it's less stressful but it's you get more freedom and it's just a little bit closer to the civilian world but not completely but you just get more freedom so just look forward to tech school and just going home to your family and you should be good um some other tips these are just tips in general is to just try to lay low and just be just try not to be center of attention and you know just be in the shadows and that's what i was told before i came but unfortunately like i'm just a type of person that um just naturally stands out and just i don't know just off of my last name so they do go by last names like just forget about the first name forget about your first name like you're never going to get hear your first name again during the training and you know just get used to being called by your last name because obviously um that's the whole point of taking individuality away like just get used to getting called by your last name because yeah but yeah that concludes the video if you guys have any more questions you can ask them in the comments um just like this video make sure you guys subscribe into my channel and stay tuned for the next video